electronic ed guide trips. Now that's different than a regular guide trip because instead of trying to catch fish, what we do is we explore how you can use your electronics better to catch fish. So in this case, the boat is rigged out with the Lowrance. It's a Gen 3 and then it has the Structure Scan 3D modular that goes with it. So that means we're able to explore that 3D Structure Scan look. Now that's brand new, so I like to think of it as it's a chance for you to get in the boat and look at what Structure Scan can do. And if that's what you want, then you go ahead and buy it. So it's about a thousand dollars. So one guide trip, it's easier to come out and check it out that way. So besides Structure Scan 3D, we also have regular uh, Structure Scan HD. So that's something else that we look at. There's also like down scan, side scan. That's what we're looking at too. So those are some other things that we're looking at. And then we also go over to Chirp. Now Chirp is an interesting deal. And a lot of even the lower uh, priced affordable Lowrance units or other units have Chirp. But what is Chirp? When we're out there, I explain to you what high Chirp is, low and medium Chirp. Which one are you gonna use to find fish? Which one are you gonna use to identify fish? and how it looks on the screen. So again, we're using a Gen 3 unit. It's a 12 inch screen, so that gives us the chance of having all those different windows open. And I'm even gonna tell you why it's good to have windows open, even in the summer, in the winter, because these units are able to show different windows at the same time so you can see all those different settings for chirp. Other things we look at, is chart chart display and how chart display works now on places like beaver lake charts are very important there are other highland reservoirs where you have lots of deep water you have lots of boulders and standing timber and old creek channels and coves and all that that you can go in and just you know explore and look at so we also talk about sources. So uh, Lowrance unit is able to take different sources. So in this case, this one's set on uh, Lowrance, but inside there, there might be a C-SPAN chip or also a Navionics chip. So we look at that and we see how those work inside these units. So I have both of those that you can look at. So you can do that. You also learn about waypoints, trails, um, man overboard hopefully you never have to use that those are some of the other features we're going to look at too at the same time another thing we look at is traditional sonar now even though the Lowrance gen 3 has can do a lot of things and and it can do chirp and all that you still have to look at regular sonar so we look at regular sonar and see what it looks like so no matter what unit you have we're able to apply that to yours so for the electronic ed trips out on the water, we usually go in my boat. We don't have to go in my boat, but I prefer going in my boat because it has the latest Lowrance electronics. But we can also do it out of your boat so you can learn what it looks like in your units too. So that's something that we could look at. And we have to set that up prior to the trip so we know what we're going to be doing. So not only do we look on the console at that electronic unit and how it works, but we also come up to the front, to the bow, and we start talking about electronics on the bow. Now that's important because this is where you do your fishing, and this is going to be the screen that you're looking at. So we, once again, we talk about down scan, side scan, uh, we talk about chirp, high chirp, medium chirp, low chirp. We talk about charts, we talk about all those features that you can have on the front unit and how they're gonna help you catch fish. Two of my favorite ways of catching fish while I'm on the bow of the boat is drop shotting and spooning. I really love spooning. And that's really important when you start doing that with this unit and you're up on the bow. So you got to see, you have to understand what you're looking at to catch the fish. And that's what we do. We talk about the bow, we talk about the console, we talk about electronics and how it's going to help you catch fish when you're out here or wherever you go to go fishing. The best part about electronics is it doesn't matter where you are as long as you have them on your boat and you understand them, it's going to help you catch more fish. So this is cool. This is something I like to do when we're doing electronic ed trips is 
go through and actually see structure that's down there. We just went by a set of stair steps. So look at this, you see that? That's right, that's the screen capture that shows what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to do in this electronic ed. We're trying to teach you how you can see the different images down there and how to have the best images while you're out there. So that's the other thing we like to do in the electronic ed is we like to come out and fish in these open waters. And so we're spooning and we could be drop shot in one of the two, but we're in open water. So we're learning how to use our graph along with having waypoints that we can find the stuff. And then also to, in this case, I have it on medium chirp. We have 3D structure scan on, and then we also have down scan on. So what we're doing is we're looking at everything. We're trying to find it and we're we're looking at how that relates, how the fish are relating to the structure or cover that's underneath there. So all that becomes important when you're fishing in open water spooning. One more thing we like to look at in the electronic ed is we're gonna teach you about routes, trails, settings. You know, you have to be able to edit your overlays so that you have exactly what you want there and also how you add the data that's gonna be there. And then we're also gonna talk about um, how you can upgrade your units. Now that's really important. That's probably the most asked question I get is, how do I update my Lowrance unit? We're gonna go through that step by step so that you can do it yourself. They also have wireless now, the Gen 3 unit's wireless, so you can actually sit in your driveway and connect your unit to your um, hotspot or to your router that's inside the house. We're gonna talk about wireless and how that's important and how they know if your unit needs to be updated just by hooking up wireless. So we're gonna look at those features and the other ones that are optional features maybe in your case if you don't have the Gen 3, but otherwise you have the Gen 3, we're gonna look at those. So electronic ed guide trips. You may not catch a lot of fish doing it, but the thing is you're learning how to use your electronics. And when you learn how to use your electronics, you're gonna catch more fish. And so it pays off later. So the important thing is to get out there and go fishing. Now, you can contact me at 479-756-5279. That's the phone number right there on the bottom. Or you can go to my guide service, uh, has a website, and that's www.bradweekman.com. Oh, yep, there it comes, along the bottom. And then uh, you can also just send me an email, which is bweekman at bradweekman.com. Oh, yep, you got it. There it is right there. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I'm telling you, you contact me, we'll go out, we'll see what we can do, and then hopefully you'll be able to catch more fish, or you will catch more fish after you get done doing electronic ed guide trips.